Hey everyone, just here to bring you uh, my first toy review, shockingly enough. Uh, I had a couple requests for uh, my first toy review. Uh, someone uh, basically asked if I wanted to do the uh, Gigazord I was looking over there, right at it. But that would take me a while to do, so I figured, until I figure out a good way to do that one, I'd introduce you to another one that was suggested. The unreleased animated toy electromagnetic sound wave now I got this toy in a raffle at OmegaCon shuffling enough but with the raffle that we did it with it was only for people that pre-registered so only pre-registered guests basically got a ticket for this and I think there was one more after that that was saved for the main raffle so and shuffling enough I got this. I never win a raffle. I barely even win bingo. I got this guy, and thankfully I pre-registered him, because he's not a bad toy. He has enough articulation in him, in a sense, but right now we're going to go over the vehicle, and as you can see, he is stock white with... I want to say it's like an electric green with a real dark purple for the windshields. Decepticon symbol is right there on the hood. I do kind of wish, though, that they painted the uh, power signal on him, that type of green that's on here, because I like this green. There are a lot of green Transformers out there that I do not like. The current brawl for Bruticus. I got one up there somewhere. I don't like that shade of green. This one is very mellow. It doesn't stand out as much in the vehicle mode. You see it, but the purple is what draws your eyes to this toy. Now, this is an activator. And like most activators, you hit a button and they transform. So in this case, let's see how this one works. I can hit the button. Yeah, that uh let's try this again. Flip open. A little better. Let's do one more to see if this thing can actually freaking go. No, it doesn't. This is an unreleased toy, people. This was never brought over to America whatsoever. This was. I'm not even sure if this was in Japan or anything. If someone knows, let me know. But really, you just gotta take it, unpeg the doors, pop the hood off. It's just clipped in by here to here. That lifts up. There's the head. It's a very nice head. The red uh, visor glasses and the purple mouth. Really, I like it. It brings it out. Though, I kind of wish the Decepticon symbol on his chest was white. Because you cannot see it all that well in that purple. Yes, I know, all Decepticon symbols have to be purple. But he could have made it white. <laughs> And of course, you just got to pull the arms out. They were up against it. Just turn them around pull them out. The feet are right here. You just got to pull them out if they come out. There we go. And, of course, split the legs. Because he's not no G1 brick legs. And there you have it. And he's not a bad toy. I mean, yeah, he has what your flat back, so he's pretty good to stand. Head rotates, arms can go up and down, bend the elbow, has a swivel on the arm, which is very nice, and ball jointed knees, swivel there, bends the knee, and slight foot. No waist, they actually could have fit a waist in there because as you can tell, the joint for the backpack is right here, and the torso is right there. So there's could have been a little bit of a waist articulation in this guy. Can I recommend him? Yeah, I could recommend him. The only thing I have to say, honestly, about him is trying to find him, because I've not looked for one. I didn't even know they made one. All I know is that the convention that I was going to were having these out as a raffle, and they were an unreleased toy. That's basically it. Do I have problems with them? Basically, if you want to use his activator gimmick, for me, it doesn't work. Maybe it works on the other guys. But personally, for me, it does not work. 
And I have a weird thing with the animated toy line. I never 100% watched the show. I actually had to go online and watch most of the episodes that I missed. I think it was the second season that really got me into it. And my animated collection up there, top shelf, is not that big to begin with. But having this little guy, he's not bad. If you want to find him, find him. If he's at a good price point, buy him. But for what I've said about him, it's really up to you guys on whether or not you want to actually get one. I got mine for free, so ha <laughs> screw you people. Alright guys, uh, I'll see you around next time, and hopefully, maybe sometime around soon, I'll have my next review. Until then, see you later guys.